Welcome to this gentle yoga flow. My name is Betty, and I will be your guide today in practice. We'll begin in a comfortable seat, perhaps in a chair or sitting on the floor. Legs could be crossed or maybe stretch your legs long if you're more comfortable in the hips and low back that way. Feel some length in your spine. And if you are seated on the floor, you might find a folded up blanket or sitting on some blocks might help you find more ease in the low back. So take a moment to set up in a comfortable tall seat today, whether it's on a chair or on the floor. We'll begin with a few deep breaths to transition into our practice. Breathing deeply, whether the belly is accessible today for breath or if instead we're breathing deeply into the front and the back of the heart or perhaps the sides of the ribs, take whatever deep breaths are comfortable and accessible for you today. Take an inhale breath and exhale and see if you can't allow some softening of the gaze. Perhaps the eyes even blink closed if that feels comfortable. And an inhale, deep breath into whatever feels good for your body, whether it's front and back of the heart or into the belly. And exhale and perhaps softening the jaw as best you can, as is possible. And an inhale, breath. Exhale, and maybe allowing the shoulders to soften from the ears just a little bit. One more breath here, an inhale, breath deep into the belly or maybe front and back sides of the heart. And exhale and feel the points of contact your body is making on the chair or on the earth. Feel the crown of the head stretching tall. And perhaps carrying that deep breath, that steady, even breath throughout our practice today. Take an inhale breath and exhale. We'll tip right ear to right shoulder if that feels good. I'm mirroring you today. So right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, perhaps allow the chin to sink gently toward the chest. And exhale, rolling left ear to left shoulder if that feels comfortable. Inhale, steady breath, chin drops to chest. Exhale, roll right ear to right shoulder. Easy stretch and mobilization through the neck, top of the shoulder. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, left ear to left shoulder if that feels good. Inhale, a deep, steady, even breath. Exhale, ear to shoulder. Inhale, chin to chest. Exhale, ear to shoulder. And then perhaps allowing the chin to gently sink toward chest and bringing the gaze upward, perhaps chin parallel to the earth, crown of the head, stretching skyward, long spine here. Allow the hands to stretch down by the sides, maybe even touching the earth or the sides of the chairs. It'll be an inhale breath and the right hand stretches up toward the skies highest feels comfortable. Maybe even the bicep closes, uh, comes close to the ear or touches it. And then exhale, maybe ground the hand on the earth or on your chair and exhale and lean to one side. Easy side bend here. Inhale, come back to center, crown of the head, fingertips up toward the sky. Exhale, let your hand float down. Second side. 
inhale, it's the left hand that floats wide and high up overhead as far as feels good. Maybe the bicep comes close by the ear or even touches the ear. Exhale, we ground to the earth or maybe onto the chair and take a lean to the side. Inhale back to center, crown of the head and maybe hands stretching skyward. Exhale and float that hand down. Let's flow through a few more of these stretches. Inhale, right hand to the sky. As far as feels comfortable. Exhale in a lean, supporting yourself on the earth. Maybe a block if to bring the earth a little closer up toward you. And inhale, center. Exhale, float that hand down. Second side. Inhale, float the left hand skyward. Exhale in a lean. Inhale, center. Exhale, return. Finding the steady breath for a few more breaths and stretches. Inhale, the right hand skyward. Exhale in a lean. Waking up the spine, the shoulders a bit here. Inhale, center. Exhale, float the hand down. Second side, inhale, the hand to the sky. Exhale, it's a lean. Lengthen both side bodies here, even the side closest to the floor. Inhale, center, exhale, float the hand down. One more to each side, inhale, the arm floats. Exhale, steady breath with a lean to the side, lifting out of both side bodies, grounding both sit bones equally to the earth or to your chair. Inhale, center. Exhale, float down. Second side. Inhale, the hand toward the sky. Exhale, a lean. Grounding both sit bones, lengthen the side bodies. Inhale, center. And exhale, float the hands down. Beautiful, some shoulder rolls here. Inhale, the shoulders forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Feel the heart center really opening up here as the shoulders drop back and down. Inhale, shoulders roll forward and up. Exhale, back and down, away from the ears. A couple more, inhale, forward and up. Waking the shoulders up a little bit more here. Exhale, back and down. One more beautiful roll here. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, back and down. Lovely. From here, transitioning to tabletop, any way that's comfortable for you. The hands will ground underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And fan your fingers really wide here. If you're taking care of your wrists today, you might ground the elbows here instead to take care of the wrist joints. If the knees or wrists need a little more padding, you might take a blanket, a folded blanket under the knees or under the wrists for a little support. Here in this tabletop, we'll take a pause and inhale breath. Exhale breath. Feel a gentle lift in the low belly if that's accessible today and a gentle float of the base of the pelvis. So a float of the pelvic floor if that feels comfortable and accessible today. Draw the shoulders down from the ears to allow the neck to feel long. Take an inhale and an exhale breath in this table. And then on your next inhale breath, perhaps floating the right arm forward and up. Right arm forward and up as high as feels comfortable. Maybe even the arm comes parallel to the earth. And then exhale, allow both hands to ground down. Second side, inhale the left arm up as far as feels comfortable. Maybe the arm comes parallel to the earth. Exhale and float the hand down. Now we'll move to the legs, the lower body. Inhale, the right leg stretches long behind you. Maybe the toes stay tapping on the mat. Maybe you allow the leg to lift. Maybe that back leg even comes parallel to the earth. And exhale back to your table. Second side, left leg. Inhale, the left leg lengthens long. Maybe the toes stay tapping on the mat. Maybe you float the leg away, perhaps even to a parallel position. 
Exhale and ground down to table. Now, opposition raise. Inhale the right arm and the left leg. Right arm and left leg. So toes and fingers can stay tapping on the mat for a little balance support, or you might float the limbs away as high as feels comfortable. Exhale here, a big inhale here. Stretch fingers and toes away from each other. And exhale and ground the limbs to the earth. Tabletop position. Second side. Inhale, breath. Left arm and right leg. Left arm and right leg. Maybe the toes and fingers stay tapping on the mat. Little balance support here. Maybe the limbs float away. Inhale here. Stretch fingers and toes away from each other. Feel length. And exhale, grounding back to table. First side again. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Opposition raise of choice. Exhale, stay. Inhale, feel some length stretching out through fingers and toes. And exhale, ground down to table. Second side. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, stay. Inhale, stretch fingers and toes away from each other. And exhale, ground down. Beautiful. Picking up the pace just a little bit more. Inhale, right arm and left leg. Float away or balance on the earth. Exhale and ground to table, right on back. Second side, inhale, left arm, right leg. Maybe lifting away, maybe grounding. And exhale, right back to table. A few more here, just waking up the core and 360 degrees. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale and float down. Second side, inhale, left arm, right leg, opposition raise. Exhale and down. And inhale, first side. Last one here. Exhale and ground down. And second side, inhale, float up. Exhale and ground down. And we're heading to a child's pose. Big toes touch in back. Knees can come wide to make space for the body. And then sinking the hips back to the heels as far as feels comfortable. Maybe stretching the arms long in front of you. If it's accessible, the forehead may rest down on the earth. If your forehead is not reaching the earth, you might find a block, a pillow, a folded up blanket to bring the earth up to your forehead. So let your head and neck be relaxed in this child's pose and take a few deep breaths. Breathing again into the belly if that's accessible. And if it's not today, breathing into the front, back, sides of the heart. Deep, full, steady, comfortable breaths here. And perhaps coming back to the breath as you inhale and exhale, allow the gaze to soften if that feels comfortable. Perhaps blinking the eyes closed if that feels good. And then inhale your full steady breath. Exhale and perhaps allowing the jaw to soften. Inhale, breath. Exhale, allow the shoulders to soften a bit here. If it feels more comfortable, you might even walk your hands back so the elbows are closer to the knees. Or maybe even stretch the hands down by the sides of the body, fingertips and toes pointing in the same direction. That allows your shoulders more release. And one more inhale breath here and exhale, noticing the points of contact the body is making on the earth. Knees, maybe tops of the feet or toes, hands. And then we'll all stretch our arms forward if we're not there already. 
perhaps removing the, the block or prop if you were using those. And we'll take an inhale breath in this child's pose just for a moment, we're transitioning out. Exhale, shifting forward into our tabletop, adjust hands and knees as needed. Inhale, let the belly gently drop and the head and tail lift. Allow this lift to come more from the heart though. So allow the low back to be really comfortable, no strain or pinching there. And then exhale, head back to that child's pose. Again, adjusting knees, feet as needed. Inhale here in child's pose. Exhale forward into tabletop, adjusting knees, hands, feet as needed. Ex or inhale here. Let the cow pose happen here gently with the heart drawing forward through the hands. Maybe the chin gently lifts. And then exhale back to your child's pose. Once again, adjusting hands, hips, knees as needed. One more flow this way. Inhale, child's pose. Exhale forward, tabletop position. Inhale, cow pose. Let this come from the heart, the heart drawing forward and up through the hands. Maybe the chin lifts, shoulders from ears. And exhale, back to child's pose. Pause here for just one breath here in an inhale and an exhale. <sighs> then if it's accessible, you might choose to shift forward into tabletop and tuck your toes under. Um, I'm going to offer you a transition to standing. Um, if this doesn't work for your body, feel free to take any transition to standing that feels good for you. So here in tabletop, tuck your toes, allow the knees to float and maybe walk the hands back toward the feet. Knees can stay really bent here and allow your feet to be really wide. So there's lots of space for your body here and let the head hang for a moment, perhaps walking the hands up the legs to support yourself up to a standing position. Now I'll invite all of you to find a pretty wide stance, maybe um, shoulder width or a little wider again to allow space for the body. Here we'll pause in a mountain pose. So toes pointing toward the front short end of your mat. If you're using a mat today, palms rolling forward, open into the space in front of you and allow that roll of the palms open to open the heart. Little soft knees, feel the stretch of the crown of the head and take an inhale breath here. Exhale and feel your feet grounding on the earth, standing tall, supported, balanced. Inhale, float the hands wide through a T-shape and then overhead as high as feels comfortable. Exhale, breath. It'll be a forward fold. So maybe hinging at the waist, bending the knees. We're gonna walk the hands down the legs if that feels comfortable for some support today. And to a forward fold as far as feels comfortable. Could be hands to the earth, shins, or maybe forearms or hands to thighs supporting this forward fold. Inhale, it's a halfway lift. So once again, hands on the earth, shins or thighs. We're finding a long spine here. So imagine tabletop position, but standing on your two feet. Inhale, breath here. And exhale, back to that forward fold, just to release over. And coming back up. So hands could come to a wide T-shape or you could walk the hands up the body. Inhale, unhinge at the waist, crown of the head stretches skyward. And then the hands follow, stretching the fingertips wide and high overhead. And exhale the hands to the sides. Let's flow through that. Inhale, hands wide through that T-shape, overhead as high as feels comfortable. Exhale, it's that forward fold of choice. Again, supporting yourself if you like with a walk down to your forward fold, supporting your forward fold, earth, shins, thighs. Inhale, it's that halfway lift. So tabletop spine, but standing, inhale, breath, shoulders from ears. Exhale back to your forward fold. Again, whatever support feels good for your body today. 
And then inhale, breath, we're moving out. Maybe it's an unhinge and the hands come wide and high. Fingertips to the sky. Exhale, float the hands down. Let's take a couple more of these quarter sun salutations. Inhale, wide and high. Exhale, forward fold of choice. Maybe supporting with the hands walking down the body. Inhale, halfway lift. Again, could be a support earth, shins, thighs. Exhale, back to your forward fold. And it's a release out. Inhale, we're coming to standing mountain pose. Hands wide and high, hands overhead. Exhale, hands float down to the sides. Let's flow through one more time. Inhale, wide and high. Exhale, it's that forward fold. Knees as bent as much as you need for, for comfort here today. Inhale, long spine, halfway lift, shoulders from ears, finding support. Exhale, forward fold. Again, allowing the body to be supported here. Inhale, unhinge at the waist, inhaling up. Again, up to standing any way you like, fingertips skyward, and exhale, hands down to the sides. Beautiful. From here, let's face the long edge of our mat. So we're turning to face the long edge of our mat or the side of your room. And we'll take a pretty big step out or maybe even heel toe, heel toe the foot out. So our heels are in and our toes are out. So we're heading into a goddess pose or a horse stance. Let's begin with a little tester round. We'll sink the hips straight down toward the earth as best we can. And I'll take a peek at the knees. We want the kneecaps to be aligning over our middle toes. And the knees, the backs of the knees to really be reaching toward the space behind us. So rather than allowing the knees to float inward, we really want to use the muscles in the backs of the legs to press the backs of the knees toward the space behind us. And let's link them back up. And we'll maybe find a beautiful stretch of the arm skyward as well as high as feels comfortable. So if you might stretch the fingertips to the up to the top two corners of your space today, or the arms could even come overhead and the palms connect overhead. Just find something that feels good for your shoulders. Take an inhale breath, exhale breath, stretching in star. Inhale, let's sink into that goddess pose, checking out the knees. Elbows drop here to a cactus arm. So upper arms parallel to the earth. My elbows are bent at about 90 degrees. Shoulders from ears and squeeze the shoulder blades together and back, feeling that opening in the heart. Beautiful, inhale breath, stretch back up to that star pose. Again, it could be the fingertips are stretching overhead with the palms touching or the hands might be uh, separated for comfort. Exhale. Inhale, sink down into goddess. Cactus arm here. And exhale, stretch to star. Let's flow through a few of these. Inhale, sit into goddess. Kneecaps, right? Aligning over our middle toes, backs of the knees, pressing downward. Exhale, stretch to star pose. Inhale, sink, goddess pose. Heart opening here and cactus arm. Exhale, stretch to star. Let's take one more. Inhale to goddess. Let's pause here. So you move out whenever your breath and body tell you to. If it feels comfortable and more supportive, you could bring the hands down to the belly for support, to the tops of the thighs or the hands on the waist. Take another couple steady, even breaths. Finding that steady, even breath here. If you find you've lost that steady breath, that is a cue to move out. Let's gently all lengthen the legs. And we're heel toeing our way, or maybe stepping our way, back to the front edge of our mat. Turning to face the short edge of our mat or back to the front of our space today. I'm gonna walk you through a transition to tabletop you might choose a different transition that works for your body today. So feet might be pretty wide to make space for the body. Inhale, hands wide overhead, as far as feels comfortable. Exhale, forward folding. Bend in the knees is just fine here. Maybe walking the hands down the body for support. Bend your knees a lot so you can plant your hands down on the earth and maybe walk a foot or two back 
lowering to the knees and finding your tabletop position. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Fan the fingers wide. Ground into the L's of the hand. So pressing into the base of the index finger, base of the thumb. Take an inhale breath here. Exhale breath. And we'll sink back into our child's pose. Knees can come wide, big toes to touch and sinking back. Once again, if your head doesn't reach the earth, bring the earth up to your head so we're not reaching or straining here in this child's pose. Inhale breath here in child's pose. Exhale forward to tabletop, adjusting knees and hands as needed. Inhale cow pose, allow this cow pose to be an opening through the front of the heart and low back really comfortable and lengthened. And exhale back to child's pose. And we'll go through that flow a few more times. Inhale forward to tabletop. Exhale, we'll pause here. Inhale, cow pose, allowing the heart to draw forward through the hands, shoulder blades dropping from ears. And exhale back to your child's pose. Again, adjusting knees and hands as needed. Two more flows this way. Inhale, we stay in child's pose. Exhale forward to tabletop, adjusting hands and knees as needed. Maybe elbows. Inhale, cow pose. I'll let this be a draw of the heart forward and through the hands. Maybe the chin lifts a little bit, shoulders from here. And exhale back to our child's pose. And here in child's pose, we'll take a few deep breaths. And once again, you might bring a block under the head or a folded up blanket to bring the earth up to the body. So you're supported and easy. Maybe bringing the hands down toward the feet might be a comfortable place for your shoulders. Make those adjustments now. Inhale, breath here. Exhale, breath. One more beautiful inhale and exhale. And we'll walk ourselves out of that child's pose, transitioning through a tabletop position to a side lying position. So I'm gonna be on my left side to start today. And as best I can, stacking my hips, knees, and ankles on top of each other and taking my arms if it's comfortable and stretching the arm from the bottom shoulder out um, and stacking my top hand on top. So it's like you're making a little sandwich stack with your hands pointing out from the heart center. Now I'm on my left side. So I'm gonna allow my right hand, my top right hand to open up to this guy and maybe stretch back into a spinal twist. If you can allow your head and shoulders to relax down to the earth here as well, I'll invite you to do so. If this isn't feeling like a comfortable twist, feel free to adjust as needed. Perhaps pulling your, or kind of drawing that bottom left shoulder out from underneath the body to create some space for the neck and shoulder. And if you're not touching the earth here with your back hand, that's okay too. Just hang out with a few steady breaths here in this twist. Allowing some softening and opening as best you can. And we're bringing the hands back to touch here. Just a brief transition. We're rolling to our backs and then rolling to the right side. And on our right side, we'll do our best to stack hips, knees, and ankles. 
And then once again, bringing this bottom hand, stretching straight out from the heart, top hand layers on top. It's that top left hand now that's opening up to the sky and then maybe stretching into the backspace a little bit, maybe allowing the head and shoulders to release if something's not feeling comfortable. Again, you might sneak that right shoulder out from underneath you a little bit to feel some more space in the shoulder and neck on that bottom shoulder. And just pausing here for a few breaths. It's okay if that top hand or shoulder doesn't touch the ground. We're really looking for a gentle twist through the spine with actually a little bit of a strengthening component here. We're trying to keep the hips, knees, and ankles stacked in this twist. And that requires that our core muscles do some work. Again, let this be steady, even breath in this twist. Find that steady breath, whatever that is for you today, whether it's deep into the belly or into the front, back, and sides of the heart. And top hand, top left hand, comes back to meet the bottom hand. And once again, just a brief transition, rolling to back and settling onto our left side today for our final relaxation. If it's accessible, you might rest your bottom cheek on your bottom extended arm. You could stack the hips, knees, and ankles with a little bend in the knee, or you might find another kind of staggered position. If you have some props, sometimes a folded up blanket or a pillow between the knees can feel really comfortable, allowing the body to find some quiet and stillness. So we might allow the mind to also find quiet and stillness, if and when it is at all possible. Here in our relaxation, it, it's important to note that it is the nature of the mind to be busy and active. So if you're finding the body and the mind to feel active and want to move, that's part of our practice. You might make adjustments as needed if moving will allow you to feel more comfortable and grounded and easy. If it feels comfortable, you might also sense into some stillness between and behind the thoughts and feelings that arise. Perhaps coming back to the steady breath. Inhaling and exhaling. As best you can, sensing into some stillness and ease. Allow this to be a nourishing, supportive, relaxing time as best you can in any given moment. We'll be quiet for just another minute or two as you continue your own practice of relaxation. And when you hear my voice again, we will be closing our formal practice today.
I'll invite you now to bring some awareness back to the breath, finding some even inhales and exhales. If your eyes are closed, perhaps allowing the eyes to gently blink open, finding some movement in fingers and toes, waking the body up. And then when you feel ready, making your way to that comfortable seat, perhaps sitting on a blanket or pillow, maybe leaning against a wall or finding a seat in a chair if that feels more comfortable. A tall, lengthen spine. If you'd like to join me, I'll invite you to bring uh, one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly. And taking four deep breaths to close our practice today into whatever space feels comfortable and accessible. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Inhale, breath. Exhale, breath. Sending some nourishing, gentle breath into the body. Gratitude to the body for what it can do and has done for you today. Nourishing and supporting. Maybe one more breath here. Might allow the hands, if they are on the body, to just release down. Thank you for your time and practice today.